Hi guys, I am answering more questions for y'all. Do you prefer men to tell you when they're about to come? Yes, I do actually. <laughs> What's the best move a man has ever made on you? One of my favorite, <laughs> like so much dog hair on me. Um, one of my favorite dates I've ever been on was, it was like a second or third date, it was early on, and he took me to see the um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie, which was sweet because I was carrying around this stuffed turtle at the time, and that was like his correlation was like, you like turtles, you'll like this movie, which was just sweet. And then he drove me afterwards late night up this, like kind of up to this cliff and to this lookout and had me close my eyes when we were getting close to the top and um or most of the way actually and then when we got to the top it was like this beautiful stars like blanketing the sky it was so pretty that was that was a great move <laughs> what music do you like listening to during sex oh gosh this is hard for me to answer because i am not the person that plays music in this household my partner is the soundtrack to my life he's always been that way um but before him, I always put on like a set or, I mean, in high school, any song that's like talking about sex, that's like sultry and sexy. Um, there was a song by Nickelback in high school, S-E-X, and it's, and I remember playing that when I was having sex in high school, <laughs> but that's not good now. I would say any like set is nice that doesn't have too much like beats and like that doesn't have a lot of distractions something that's like a good melodic but sexy background i sometimes like hip-hop um yeah i don't know i'm not really in charge of the music um hey barbie i really liked your latest vid about kinks do you think it's possible to drop a fetish i have a humiliation kink that goes back to getting bullied in school and i'm trying to move past it but there's something sexually triggering about getting humiliated bullied embarrassed etc well first of all thank you for sharing I, I do think it's definitely possible to drop a fetish. It seems like this um, trauma turned into a fetish for you, which is common. Um, I think if you wanna move past this kink or fetish, I would find the root of the trauma. I would put yourself back into that first time where you were bullied and humiliated or embarrassed and kind of meditate on it and see how that made your body feel and focus on those sensations and breathe through it for a little bit. I find that that can be very healing. I think if you heal um, this traumatic kind of one of these earlier experiences, then you might not have the same correlation to the sensations sexually. Um, I think kind of putting light on that traumatic experience could definitely help you drop it. That's my advice. Big Spoon or Little Spoon? Oh, they're both so good. I'm sorry, I have to say both. <laughs> What's some dirty talk you like to hear in bed, if any at all? I like dirty talk. I like to hear anything that's involving my body, my appearance, like the ways I, like if I look good, I feel good. Um, like, I don't know, what's some good dirty talk? Like, um yeah like yes baby anything calling me baby or sexy like i i like hearing moans and groans and um i like dirty talk yeah it's hard for me to come up with some right now i'm not a huge dirty talk person i do say like yes yes if it's feeling good or i um also like to compliment my partner too but i'm not one to to usually do a lot of dirty talk but i do enjoy it <laughs> when it feels feels good <laughs> Do you prefer men to be shaved down there or all natural? I definitely prefer trimmed. My partner tells me that she has a coming fetish and loves to watch men orgasm. Do you think this is true for all women and why? Well, I don't think all women have a coming fetish. I think a lot of women like to watch men orgasm, but I think a lot of people in general like to watch people orgasm. I think a lot of us love to feel like we've satisfied someone. We love that rush of <laughs> just like positive reinforcement so i think most people do enjoy watching their lovers or other people they're with 
orgasming, but there could be a specific fetish to like the actual cum coming out of the body. And so that could be what she's into. I'm not exactly sure, <laughs> but I do think a lot of us probably love experiencing that, but there is probably a specific fetish that perhaps she enjoys. All right, I'm going to stop there. <laughs> I'll be posting more answers next week. I love you guys. Thanks for your support and questions always. Mwah.